In this video, we're gonna talk about exactly what is the CompTIA A plus certification. Hey gang, it's Ron from itmasterkit.com. And my job is to help each and every one of you guys listening to this to help you guys get certified. So let's talk about what is CompTIA in general. So CompTIA stands for the Computing Technology Industry Association. It's actually the largest vendor neutral IT certification and accreditation, meaning that they're neutral. You'll get a little bit of everything from this certification. So a little over 2 million people are certified in A+. So 2 million people currently hold the A plus certification, which is globally recognized. So CompTIA has been developing training for a long time, stuff to get you certified and ready for examinations. They've been doing this and they've been at this for over 20 years. So the certifications are globally recognized and globally respected. And it's one of the organizations that employers look to to and get the most qualified individuals in the organization. So the CompTIA A plus is a certification that has been around for quite some time. The first time I took the A plus certification, I want to say was probably in 2000, like eight or nine. And that, I don't know what series they were on, but it's always been from my recollection, from my knowledge and from the first time I took it, it's always been a two part exam. So Sometimes people get it confused and they just say, oh, it's just about hardware and software. There are hardware components, there are software components, but it goes so much deeper than those two subjects. It's so many topics, literally hundreds, that's not an exaggeration, but it's hundreds of topics, so many damn topics that they had to split it across two different exams. So most other certifications, you take one cert, boom, you're done. You got it. This one is just has so many different topics, so many different domains, so many different objectives. They had to split it across two exams. Now, since the A plus has been out for so long, is it still valuable in 2022? So once again, the CompTIA A plus is trusted for establishing IT careers since it verifies your basic knowledge through performance-based assessments. So this exam is gonna have performance-based stuff, critical thinking stuff, analytical thinking stuff. And like I said, it just goes over a myriad of different topics. So interesting fact, the CompTIA Plus is mentioned in one out of every 10 IT support job postings. So having CompTIA Plus on your resume can put you ahead of nine certified people, right? It is literally, and this is like my go-to, I probably need a damn trade market, but it is literally like your high school diploma when it comes to IT. So you definitely need to gain hands-on experience even after you get A-plus certified, but this is definitely going to shore up that knowledge piece, that troubleshooting piece, and get you in the right mind frame that you need to be in when you're actually trying to execute. So we talked about how great the certification is, blah, 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 blah. But how much would you have to invest to actually take the actual exam? As of this recording, as of today, it is a two-part exam and each exam costs right around $232. So, the A plus is geared mostly towards help desk technicians and entry level IT positions. Now, on average, help desk technicians make an average of around forty five to fifty thousand dollars a year. Now, that's on the higher end, to be honest, but that is at the entry level. And that's after you only spent almost five hundred dollars. That's simple math to me. Even if it costs five thousand dollars, you wouldn't spend five thousand dollars for the opportunity to make forty, fifty thousand dollars. So the actual investment, as far as time and money, is a lot less than going to college, expensive boot camps, and stuff like that. Right? In fact, according to 
Dice, which is a research company that researches different job markets, different salaries, so on and so forth, says that A plus is among the highest paying IT qualifications in the U.S. with A plus holders earning seventy eight thousand dollars. Now, take into account these people probably also have other certifications as well. They probably hold A plus and another certification or several other certifications, and they probably have a couple years of experience. But the A plus sets you up for all these other opportunities. A plus sets you up to go on the road to make 80, 90, six figures, right? So for the investment of you know a few hundred dollars, now I would suggest getting inside of some kind of training program that can definitely make sure that you are prepared for the A plus because the A plus is not an easy exam and you got to pass two damn exams to get the certification. And you don't want to, you know, waste, you know, $500, five, six times, you can fail it all a bunch of times, and then you still have to go and find um, some type of training. But once you get the A plus, the great thing is there is so many different opportunities when it comes to employment. As I said earlier, pretty much one out of every 10 job postings are mentioning the A plus certification or they're mentioning the skills that are acquired from getting A plus certified. So as far as getting certified, if you have little to no IT experience or expertise, you may find studying for the A plus a lot more difficult than others. Even if you have that experience, you may find it really, really, really difficult. Now, can you self-study? Of course, but it's probably going to be a very tedious and it may take you a lot longer than if you had a dedicated training program that would assist you on your journey. The good news is you can study at home. And since we went through what we went through in 2020, you can actually take the actual certification exam at home. Now, don't get too damn excited because you're probably, oh, shit, I'm going to have Google open and I'm going to have my notes. No, everything is proctored. Everything is watched. They're looking at you the whole time because honestly, it's probably easier to, to do something illicit at a testing center as opposed to doing it at home because literally it's like going to be eyeballs right on you. Now, as far as my students that's in the Zero to IT Hero program, we have them trained and ready to go in about 30 days. So they take about 30 days to pass the A+. Plus. How long is it going to take you? I don't know. I, I've seen people that have taken a year, six months, nine months, not to pass the exam, but just to take the exam and fail it. So if you rock out with Master IT or if you go somewhere else, I would just strongly advise that even if you want to do self-study, that you couple that with a great mentor, a great coach, a great training program that's going to make sure that your testing experience is a good one, that you're studying the right stuff. Because another thing that happens is you got to think about this stuff been out for 20 years and only 2 million people have got or hold the certification right now. But I'm, I've never seen the numbers on how many people that took it and failed, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in the millions. I'm almost, I would put yeah, I would bet your life on it that it's millions of people that took the damn exam a couple of times and then didn't pass it. So hopefully this shored up what A plus is for you. If you was thinking about taking it, it is a great certification to begin with. If you're listening to this on the podcast, make sure that you listen to the previous episode right before this. If you're listening to this on YouTube, just look at the pop up. That video can help you on your IT journey. As always, if you need any kind of training, you can head over to itmasterkey.com. And other than that, I'll see you in class.